Hi babes, hi babes, hi guys. Okay, so let me fix the hair. It looks a little crazy. It always looks somewhat crazy. So I'm sitting here. I'm sitting here doing a painting video for you guys. I'm literally doing a painting video for you guys. And my sister, so I sent whole, like, and I sent a lot of my friends, like this guy, um, the photographer guy I was telling you guys about Chris, and she found out that he's married. And I did say that in my other video. Not only is he married, he's been married for a while and he has a family. Why are men like this? Why are men like this? If you want more than what your wife can give you, just leave. They always say like, I was happy. I just wanted to fuck or I just wanted to just leave. Why do you put, why do you put a woman through that? It's the same thing when women cheat on men. If you're not happy with him, if he's not giving you everything that you absolutely need, let him go be happy with somebody else or by himself or whatever he's doing, leave. Um, this is the other thing. This is the other thing. He literally, as soon as I would post something on IG, he's liking it, liking it, liking it. I put it up on, um, on my other IG. He's liking it. He's liking, he's liking it. He liked everything I did so quick, so fast. If you get on any of my Instagrams, if you get on my YouTube channel, if you get on any of my platforms, I'm outwardly gay. And I say that all the time. I say that all the time flicking my tongue a lot no don't make a joke ignore the show don't make a joke this is serious like i feel like someone's gonna make a joke like oh flicking your tongue but it's like um it's like wow you're married and you're using your job to fuck women or whatever you're doing um what's wrong with you you have kids you have a wife you have a family she's trusting you to go off all around the country and you're one of those predatory creepy photographers a married with a family predatory creepy photographers um i don't know what to say i blocked him on everything um i, I blocked him on everything i'm not talking to him um i already was not interested in him partly uh but secondly he just came off kind of povey, like talking about my boobs and talking about like how pretty I am. Don't get me wrong, I've had photographers and videographers like, oh, you're really pretty, I want to do you in the shoot. They don't go as far like and keep bringing it up. And he, he was just like very inappropriate. And you know, normally when I get on here and I talk about like men doing this and men doing that, I'm like, da 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 da, and I'm like sounding the fuck off. I'm not gonna do that. Literally, I've been cheated on. I feel bad for his wife. And I knew he was married. Like, I can't describe it to you. I can't describe it to you. Even before I found the ring, when he started talking like weird to me, I knew he was married. I knew he was married. It's it's ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. Um, I don't know. It's like uh, guys on OF. Like, sometimes the wives, they will, like, message me. And the wives will message me on Facebook or, like, Snapchat, Instagram, whatever, however, you, however they find me. And they're like, can you take my husband off of your OnlyFans? I'm like... Let me get this straight. You caught your man watching porn. I don't think watching porn is cheating. I don't think watching porn is cheating. I do it in relationships. I don't think it's cheating. And just because I do it doesn't mean I guess it's not cheating. I guess it's just I don't see it as a problem. Paying for it when you also somewhat know the person in real life or you follow them intently on social media, when you have access to them, when you could reach them if you wanted to, that's cheating. You're taking money from your food and your family and either your marital household to pay and I'm saying this with someone who has one to pay for a whore that you follow on social media that's cheating um and the wives are always like can you take them off you take no you do it you deal with that you deal with that your man is pulling some bullshit like that that's on you I'm not taking him off I'm not fucking up my paycheck because he's a piece of shit um, in this case though, I do genuinely feel bad. Even if I genuinely really wanted to do the photo shoot, once I found out he was, and I was like gonna overlook the sexual things, once I found out he was married, I, I wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't have done it. I've always been that type of person. Um, I don't believe in being the other woman. I don't believe in cheating. I don't believe in assisting someone to cheat. I was seeing a, actually multiple people. And that's what I'm saying, it's not just men. I was seeing this one girl and specifically and her and i used to like make out in her car and shit and like all this other stuff and then i found out she had a girlfriend and i was like what the fuck are you doing she's like oh, i'm leaving oh i don't care if you're leaving oh if you were leaving oh you would have left and honestly 
if you were leaving, you should have left before you started doing this shit. So I know sometimes I come on here and I'm very rowdy and I'm very hyped up and I would like to blame it on the fact that I was in my early 20s and now I'm 25. Literally, you guys are going to go like three videos down the road and be like, bitch, that was you yelling like yesterday. <laughs> but on a serious note, when it comes to like things like this, that shit hurts. I found out my ex was cheating on me on Christmas and we were going to elope like four months after that. Wait. January, February, March, April. Yeah, four months. Because I found out he was cheating on Christmas. Uh, so you might as well call it January at that point. That shit hurts. And if I had kids with him and were married and all this other shit, then the other problem with him using his career to cheat on his wife is that's how he brings food into the relationship and she can no longer trust him doing that. So, I don't know. It's inappropriate. It's negligent it's disgusting it's disturbing and i genuinely i don't know what to say it's like so atrocious it's like it's really really like really really atrocious it's like so egregious like it's just so disgusting like i can't wrap my head around the fact and it's not all men and women do it too and it's not all photographers and I just can't imagine having a family and a partner and telling them I'm going to do my job and I'm actually going to cheat on them. It's disgusting and he does watch my YouTube channel. He said he has seen it and I hope he sees this and I hope he sees the other videos I made and I hope it puts some things in perspective. And it wouldn't surprise me if he's fucked a lot of his other clients, like I said, especially ones that might be more desperate, um, more desperate to obtain a modeling career. It wouldn't surprise me. It makes me sad for his children, for that to be the father. It makes me sad for his wife to call that her husband. It, um, it's not like, aha, bitch, I caught you a nigga. Like, it's none of that. It's, it's genuinely, like I've said, I know I come on here and like I clown around a lot, but it genuinely makes me sad for this woman. Um, like I said, I've never cheated before on any of my relationships, um, no matter how, I guess you could say, out of love I got or how aggressive they got. I just genuinely feel bad and I feel very sad for this woman and it I can't really describe it because um, getting cheated on I lost I think nine or eleven pounds and as you guys know I always weigh around like 98 to 110 at the time, I was very skinny, no boobs, really nothing in the back door like the ass. I was very skinny at the time already from natural. <coughs> Romeo, <laughs> you were sleeping, doing the thing. Hi, baby. Um, I was already so skinny, I was like 100 pounds, so then you take 10 off of that, now I'm like 90. I was very skinny, very not doing too well, and I genuinely feel bad for this woman. I'm not going to hold you. Like, I do feel bad. And it makes me sad for her. It makes me sad for her. Um, it's a little nerve-wracking because he lives in Cincinnati. In Cincinnati, Ohio. And you guys know I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. And then um, he also comes out to LA a lot. And I live in LA. Oh, one sec. My sister is calling. Sorry. I was, uh, my sister called me to tell me uh, something else. But yeah, I genuinely... Um, I genuinely do feel bad I'm not gonna lie I feel really bad it's nothing to like like that's what I'm saying like normally I come on here and I'm like da -da 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 -da, and you know I'm like freaking out and I'm like ah oh, burn their house down da -da -da -da. and it's like no it's like I I genuinely feel bad it's a very uncomfortable inappropriate disgusting situation and I genuinely do feel bad it's it's very very disgusting and I, I i i i can't say enough i just really feel bad like and i'm and i'm sad like i i thought the photo shoot would be fun and then he's just a piece of shit 
oh, like I say, like I'm trying to say, I do genuinely want to say, it's not all men and it's not all photographers. Women do it too. There are good photographers out there. Um, obviously, didn't wash my face. Lip is, lips are chapped. Uh, wasn't expecting. I I was doing like paint videos. I wasn't expecting to come on here and do this video. Um, that's the that's the update. He is married with a family. He is a piece of shit. He's a piece of shit. Um, since most of my subscribers are from Cincinnati, Ohio, or most of the viewers are at least from Cincinnati, Ohio. If you know him and you know a young lady or a young man trying to work with him, tell him not to. We don't work with predators. We don't work with people who use their jobs to fuck people. And we don't work with cheetos. I love you guys so much. Have a beautiful day. Yes. Oh, why was I about to do that? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But okay. I love you guys so much. Bye, babes.